tonight, the FBI just released new information in the search for Cynthia Carver. Investigators now believe she was abducted, and they have a number of persons of interest in this case. 13 News Now reporter Ali Weatherton has the latest from Southampton County. Investigators are now looking at dating apps that Cynthia Carver may have used, and detectives say the search is not only here in Virginia, but also in North Carolina. Two small children are without their mother, and investigators say they're working all leads to bring 34-year-old Cynthia Carver back home. And as we've developed more information, we're continuing to cast a wider net. Detectives say after looking at phone records and receipts, they determined Carver traveled to Hampton Roads before her disappearance. Southampton County Sheriff's Lieutenant Camden Cobb says Carver was on Airline Boulevard in Portsmouth and North Military Highway in Norfolk Thursday afternoon. At a minimum in the early afternoon, she would have been in the airline uh, airline area and in the North military. At today's press conference, Cobb says investigators are now looking for a silver Chrysler, possibly a newer model Chrysler 200. Detectives say that car left Carver's home the night of the abduction. That information was determined during our canvases of the Newsom's area. Uh, that, that's when that information first became available. Cobb says if you have any information about Carver's disappearance, call the FBI or Southampton County Sheriff's Office. We're maintaining hope that we will find her and bring her home safe and alive. In Southampton County, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now. We have been following this case very closely for more than two weeks, so let's break down how we got here. The 34-year-old mother from Southampton County was last seen Thursday, February 21st. A number of search parties have spent long hours looking for the correctional officer. Another search is planned Thursday. Her family told deputies she was supposed to meet a man that night, but they don't know who he is. As the search continues, the FBI has set up a tip line. Anyone with information is asked to call this number, 757 609-2482. This number is also posted on our website. 